Before I sell away all these four figures, here are the Toy Beast and Hasbro Falcon figures that we have gotten so far. The first two are the Toy Beast variants. The third one is from the Joe Fixit BAF Wave. And the last one is from the Retro Wave. Both Toy Beast figures come with this red wing. It really has good sculpt and paintwork. Look at that. The paintwork is really good and the sculpt of the wing and even the claws and the head is really good. And it attaches to the back of the figure like this. Here's how the figure looks like with red wing. And for both Hasbro versions, they come with two pairs of hands. The fists and the straight fingered hands. Now let's take a look at the Toy Biz figures. For appearance, this one is based off his early appearance. And this one is based off on his appearance in the early 2000 Captain America and the Falcon series. In terms of body mold, I think all of us can agree that this figure is on a very dated body mold. Look at this very huge shoulder ball and the head which looks kind of small on this body. And in terms of appearance, this body mold could have done better with the color of the packs. You can see the packs on the elbows are actually red with brown painted over. So once the brown paintwork goes off, you can see the red packs clearly. Same goes on the shoulders, especially for this classic appearance. Look at that, the red pack at the shoulder ball. For the other one, it is also red, but the pack is red together with the shoulder ball. So I guess that's okay. And look at the joint on the neck. It is also red color instead of brown. This one is brown. I think maybe this one would have been painted brown, but over time it has faded, revealing the red color pack. For this one, it should have been painted white instead of brown. <laughs> For appearance, overall the figure does kind of resemble his early appearance, having the V-shape on the chest and also this red paintwork. But I think this red paintwork over here could have been a bit better and have more curved edges instead of having sharp edges. In the comics, it definitely looks better. For the feet, it does have this gold claw-like scalp and the edges are kind of jagged, just like in the comics. Although in the comics, sometimes this golden claw is kind of like longer instead of being this short. The wings are also kind of short, just like his early comic appearances. But I feel that the scalp of the wing is kind of slightly different. In the comics, it's kind of like long triangularish strips. But over here, it is really kind of like feathers. Here's how the back of the feather looks like. There are some strange looking scalp here. Overall, I guess the appearance is quite okay. But I can really see Hasbro redoing this classic appearance. And here's the variant based on his appearance in the early 2000 Captain America and the Falcon comic title. The wings are definitely longer. And I have nothing much to say about this design except that it is quite comic accurate. Having this exposed part under the armpit. I really don't understand the concept behind having exposed armpits and only having the shirt running down the center of the body. <laughs> here's the back of both figures. And the wings that is attached to the bicep is the same. But the one attached to the forearm is longer for this variant. Over here, it is much shorter. One thing about the Toy Beast figures is that the muscle striation is really overly done. Like look at this muscle scalp on the chest. It doesn't make sense for someone to have this sort of muscle striations on the body. <laughs> same goes at the sides over here. So yeah, that's it for the Toy Beast figures. In terms of appearance, I guess more or less follows really closely to the comics. And I think sooner or later Hasbro will redo this classic appearance. Now, for this Hasbro Falcon, it is mostly based on his cartoon appearance in Avengers Assemble. Don't know why Hasbro decided to follow this appearance. In the comics, he doesn't really have this same exact appearance. This Falcon figure is an upsize of this 3.75 inch figure. And yeah, nothing much to say about this appearance as well. This figure is on a Sunfire body mold and the wings are all detachable. So you just simply slot in the pegs at the wings into the hole. There. These wings are a reuse from the Hasbro Vulture. And for this Retrowave Falcon, the appearance follows closely to this Captain America and the Falcon series which is more recent compared to the one that the Toy Biz figure was based on. And the figure is pretty much accurate to that appearance. Same case like the Toy Beast Falcon, this red part over here have the edges kind of too sharp compared to the comics. But other than that, I think the appearance is pretty much accurate. And between these two, the shade of red on the wings on this one is way brighter than the retro one. The shade of red on the body is actually about the same. 
The hip scalp is exactly the same and both of them have the hole at the back and you can actually attach the toy B straight wing onto it. Simply just insert and it actually fits better than the toy bees. <laughs> there. Here's the Hasbro Falcon with red wing on it. For size comparison, here's the Captain America figure and Cap here is slightly taller than the Hasbro Falcon. The Toy Beast Falcons, as with most Toy Beast Marvel Legends figures, is just simply too small compared to the recent Hasbro Marvel Legends figures. And here is Sam Wilson Captain America. Sam Wilson Cap is about the same height as the Hasbro Falcon. I think the two heads does look similar. And just for comparison, here is Renew Your Vows Spidey. Again, they are about the same height. And here's Pizza Spidey. So for these Falcon figures, the Toy Biz version is definitely kind of outdated. And I really think sooner or later Hasbro is going to do that classic appearance. And for the Hasbro version, both are okay. But only the one from the Retro Wave has a comic accurate appearance. Between these four Falcon figures, which one do you have in your Avengers display? Do share in the comments. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos.